Hello again YouTube, I am back with another Ultimate Fight review, this one for episode 9 Bullseye. Now before we get to the episode I well apologise for not posting for the past couple of days. Uh, my brother's girlfriend was around for the weekend so I didn't want to be sort of like too intrusive and make it sound like I was crazier than I actually am. Um, if anyone caught me talking to myself. <laughs> That's pretty much the only reason and uh, I'm kind of glad that there was no uh, UFC events either because it did kind of free up my time, but I still couldn't make videos because brother's girlfriend being there. Anyway, let's move on to the episode itself. Oh, that's a crack. That's a stretch. Right. <sighs> okay, I'm good. And uh, we start off with easily the best part of any Ultimate Fighter season, except for the first four because they didn't have it in those first four seasons. The Coach's Challenge. A rather unique one for this one as well, as Coach's favorite McGregor had to... Uh, oh! I should explain what coach's challenge is. Pretty much, um, the competitors get to take a get to take a bit of a load off. You know, no training for a bit. They just get to sit back and watch as their coaches attempt some sort of like sporting thing mostly. But they've gotten more unique challenges since most of the sporting ones are done. <laughs> and this one was to drop watermelons from a helicopter onto a gi gigantic, freaking huge target on the ground. And uh, before I say who the winner was, I will say that McGregor made a, made me laugh in this one because he said, you know, we he pretty much said that they were there at the coach challenge and he was wondering why Dana was holding his money up for him in the uh, in the briefcase. Forgot to mention the coach who wins the coach challenge wins their money uh, wins their money wins their team a lot of money. So uh, yeah, Faber was the one that won, and McGregor was like, oh crap. <laughs> It is made me laugh. It was a, it's a funny episode. I like it when the UFC has fun. And next up, we move on to the fight itself, which is the last of the um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da prelims. The, these would technically be prelims. And uh, it was Abner Alvarez against Jason Gonzalez, and uh, Alvarez won by an decision. Managed to do some great ground pounds, great takedowns, great defense overall. And his boxing combo is very very good as well. I would like to see more of it. So well done to him. And then, before they go in as the quarter matchups, Dana White calls in Favor and McGregor. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that is disgusting. I apologize. But it's staying in the video because I'm too lazy to edit stuff. Uh, but yeah. Dana calls in the coaches and they sort of decide, you know, of the prelim fights, of the wins, of the winners, who had the worst performance. And everyone pretty much agreed for Chris Gritz Knocker. Fab Faber was like, you know, he likes Gritz, and he sort of counteracted that with Svensson, who, while he, Svensson did finish, he was getting his ass kicked pretty handily up until that point. And I'll admit, looking back on it, that is true, but, well, Gritz Knocker didn't finish where he had a lot of chances to. I agree with Dan on that. He had more chances, to, uh, Gritz Knocker had more chances to finish, and he just didn't take them. So, kind of unfortunate, but uh, Rootsmarker is chosen not to go to the quarterfinals. And then, after that, they announced the quarterfinal matches, which were Art Artem Lovov against Martin Svensson, Saul Rogers against Ryan Hall, Marcy and Vosek against David Tamer, and Abner Skullman Yoros, I just wanted to say the nickname Skullman because I think it's so cool, against Julian Arosa, whose nickname is Juicy J. See, not only are the European side better fighters, they have better nicknames. I'm, I'm just pointing that out. <laughs> Except for Tom, Tom Glicky on Toothless Tom. I've said this all before in a previous video, I think. Anyway, I am done now. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you take care of yourselves, like, subscribe, and all the good stuff. I'll see you in the next one, whenever that may be.